Welcome to another lecture guys. We'll be talking about wrist x-ray. It's uh, pretty easy to uh, understand. We're going, mainly going to be talking about wrist bones and how are they organized in the wrist. Very easy to identify. So there are basically two rows of carpal bones. One is a proximal row and one is a distal row. So uh, we'll start from the radius and the ulna first. As we know on the outside of the wrist is the radius bone which is the main side of the forearm which is the main bone of the forearm and on the inside of the wrist is the ulna which is the main bone of the forearm on the medial side okay so radius and ulna are the first ones to identify then the proximal of the carpal bones the outermost and the most lateral start with the scaphoid bones uh, have a look at our mnemonic videos to uh, learn these bones pretty easily so after the scaphoid is the lunate bone so if we're going from outside to inside so lateral to medial um, and this demarcation is important here because uh, the next bone is the tricheteral but uh, as you'll see in a second the pisiform kind of overlaps this bone okay so scaphoid lunate tricheteral and pisiform this solid um, markings here are for the pisiform bone which is kind of a very small bone um, and is the innermost bone on the proximal row on the most medial side so that's a pisiform bone that's very important to identify then we come to the distal row of the carpal bone which starts with the trapezium so just below the first metacarpal is the trapezium bone so that's where your thumb is so that's a trapezium bone and just next to uh, it is a similar sounding bone but it's called a trapezoid bone okay the way to remember is uh, m and then zoid okay so trapezium and then trapezoid and next to that this big bone kind of in the middle is the capitate okay and the last bone next to the capitate the one that's being marked here is the hamet okay so scaphoid lunate trichetral pisiform trapezium trapezoid capitate and hamet and if you know if you probably had noted there's a small hook of the hamet um, which is uh, uh, yeah, very important to identify the hamet so remember scaphoid lunate trichetral pisiform lateral to medial for the proximal row and trapezium trapezoid capitate and hamet uh, for the distal row from lateral to medial hope you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching, please like and share, subscribe to our channel and watch our next video. Also comment on the videos that you like and share amongst your friends. Also please do visit at mathematicvideos.com for detailed lectures and more notes. Thank you, please keep coming back.